right, and we actually want to show you uh, what an ECG and what does it tell you and what does sure. it look like. So if we could take that, and we see this a lot. Um, a lot of people look at it and they go, wow, what's that? But I, really, you guys look at it in two seconds and know everything's fine. Yes. So right here, we see a, a lot about the heart. And we can um, decipher from this that the coronary um, vasculature at least doesn't have significant obstructive disease. And then we can also tell that the heart isn't too thick. The muscle isn't too big. And then we can tell that um, it's getting active and relaxing appropriately. So this is a normal EKG. Granted, the um, specificity and the accuracy of this is limited. But if it shows us something, then it's, it's most likely to be true. All right, for, for some of us that really ha don't understand this, uh, there's three lines. Yes. Right? Yeah. Which one are you looking at? So I'm looking at everything. OK. Yeah, so I'm looking at um, all, tw so there's 12 uh, different leads. I'm looking at every single um, QRS complex. So every one of those tall spikes, we have to look at all of them. And the tall spike there, um, each tall spike uh, is, um, it basically signifies the heart pumping. Exactly. Yes. And when it goes down. How about when it goes under the line? What does that mean? So that's still the heart pumping, but what it means is this is all vector cardiography. So this is all electrical, there's, there's a lot of physics and electricity involved, but basically when it goes under the line, that means the electricity is going away from the sticker. Okay. Fantastic. I think we have another graphic that I want to show our viewers, a stress ECG. Okay, so now, this one obviously looks very different. What are we seeing here? Yes, so this is very important. And this is going to be also done in the office. And if a patient complains of chest pain or um, has significant risk factors, a stress EKG may be done. We get a lot of information from this because now we see a patient on the treadmill. They're exercising, they're walking, then they're running. And, and then when they're jogging, we see um, if they have any symptoms. And symptoms are some of the most important things that we can um, uh, elicit as in the outpatient visit. But at the same time, we're looking at the EKG when they're running or jogging. And then if there's a, a change in the way the heart, um, the electricity activates or relaxes the heart, then that can signify that there's a blockage there. So what I'm seeing here is on the right, most, right panel where it's labeled V4 through V6, those are the leads that overlie the left side of the heart, the strong pumping function.